Hey, what's up guys and welcome to another video. So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you exactly step by step how to set up an email campaign within Aweber. Why we need it, what it's for, how to set it up step by step. So make sure to stick around because I do have an actual little hack at the end of the video that I'm going to share with you that's going to do two things with you and your email list which will increase sales in your business, which is to create more engagement and then get a higher click-through click through rate, higher open rate, so that you can then get more sales in your business. So, let's dive right in. So, if this is your first time on the channel, where have you been? Why are you just getting here now? All joking aside, if this is your first time on the channel and you happen to just come across me now, make sure to hit that little subscribe button below and make sure to hit the little bell icon so you get notified each and every time I post a video. Now, I've been in the online space since back in 2018 and a big part of my business, well, a massive part of my business was email marketing. So I do know a thing or two about email marketing. So that's why I thought I'd shoot this video today. And like I said at the start of the video, make sure to stick around to the end of the video as I'm going to share a quick little hack that's going to help you create engagement, create uh, open rates, click-through rates in your business within your email autoresponder so that you can increase sales. So before I dive straight into the computer and show you exactly how to set this up, I'll just briefly go over what an email campaign is. It could be called a follow-up series, a campaign, it's got a number of different names number of different terminologies. Basically, what it is is using your email autoresponder to do exactly what it's designed to do. Send out emails on automation so we can, basically, so we're not in our business. We can just do the work once, set the work up like I'm about to show you how to do now. Once it's done, we can just leave it as is, let it do its work and let it work away on automation for us. So, that being said, let's dive straight in and I'll show you how to do this step by step. So that's us in the computer now, and as you can see, I have Aweber open. Aweber is my personal preference for my email autoresponder. I do feel it is the best email autoresponder out there. Um, if you are serious about starting an online business, you do kind of want to get a serious email autoresponder. Um, I personally think Aweber is the best as as far as I know up to now to this point anyway. But um, as you can see, we've got Aweber open, but before we get started on this step-by-step -step tutorial, also, when you're creating your campaign, you're going to have to have all your email uh, emails pre-written out. So whatever your offer or your service may be. For me, it was the make money online niche. Um, it was, um, or is, still is, um, an education. That's the main product that I promote just now, especially through my email list. So it's like an online education. So it's in the make money online niche. So your emails are obviously going to be tailored to you and your offer. So I would suggest writing them out, think about your customer journey while they're going through, and then in your first email, I would always lay out what your expectation, what your customer's expectations are of this email list. So let them know straight away. Are they going to be receiving an email a day from you? Is it going to be an email a week? Is it once a month? Is it every two days? And just before I get started as well, just a quick little tip out of the experience that I have gained over these years that I've been in the online space. Anytime you're going to change that up, just drop your just drop your list uh, an email just to let them know. Just don't go from like one email a month to like one email a day overnight. Like just drop drop them an email, let them know. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but it's real people at the end of these numbers. So uh, that being said, let's dive straight in. So. Up to this point, we've drafted all of our emails that we want in our campaign. So we want to know how long we're run, running our campaign for, and we've drafted all of our emails. We've already pre-written them out. And if you've watched one of my previous videos, you've also spam tested them all. Um, you could find the link for that video in the description below if you want to check that video out. Video out. That's how to make sure that your emails always land in the inbox or have a, a really, really high chance of landing in the inbox. So anyway, Let's get started and let's build out this campaign. I'll show you exactly how to get started. So what you do is, we're in Aweber here, head over to Messages, and what we'd do is we would head over to Campaigns. 
And then obviously what we'd want to do is we want to create a new campaign. So let's go ahead and create a new campaign. So we want to create a campaign, a blank campaign, give it a name. So we'll just call this example YouTube campaign. So I want to create this campaign. Now with Aweber, it's automatically going to ask you when you want this campaign to start. That's the beauty with campaigns and automation and email uh, autoresponders. You can set tags on uh, within your list so that later down the line you can set up different campaigns so every so your people can be moved about automatically. But that's a little bit advanced just now. Let's just stick to the let's just stick to the setting up a basic campaign just now. So. What we want to do now is we've got this campaign ready to go. Now Aweber's asking us to build this out. So what we want to do is, as I previously mentioned, we have already pre-written out our emails. So what we want to do first is just drag this over here, send a message, choose a message, and then as you can see, I've already done this here for seven days. I've done this email campaign for. So I'll just click on email one. Obviously I've not populated it. That would be whatever you and your offer is, and then select. So this email here, up to now, is going to be sent out as soon as someone subscribes to my list. So as soon as they land on my landing page, they enter their name, enter their email address. As far as this email is set up right now, this, this campaign is set up right now. As soon as they sign up, they're automatically going to be sent my uh, first email. Now I can change that. I can change that to, I can pop a little wait in here. I can wait a change this up to a day, five minutes, half an hour, two days, whatever that may be. And then you would just continue to do the same. So depending on you, your business, your offer, how often you want to chat to your list, um, your time schedule, things like that, you this email campaign is going to be dependent on you, your business and stuff like that. So I'll just base it on one a day, every day for seven days. So I would just quickly drop this in here and then that would just be i would just drop in send another message and then i would just choose the message for this one and it would be email two and then as you can see i can just keep doing this all the way through with my pre-populated emails um and at the end of that just to give you a, little, a quick little thing here you can always add a tag in here and you can just name the tag like say something like finished finished uh, example campaign. So when you check in your, when you go back and you check in your, um, in your list, you can segment that tag and you can know that who's who's finished, who's been through your, your campaign when you want to send out live broadcasts. So basically all I would do there is I would just basically click save and exit and that's automatically going to become um, a, um, a campaign. Uh, I'm not going to do that because that's going to be on my active email list that I have right now, so I'm not going to do that. But that basically is as simple as how to set up an email campaign. Now, I did mention at the start of the video, I was going to give you a quick little tip and a quick little hack on how you can create more engagement and get, that, get rid of that skepticism, especially if you're in the niche that I'm in, which is the uh, education online, make money online niche. There's a lot of skepticism in that niche. But a quick way or a really great little hack how to do that, how to get rid of skepticism and how to create engagement and more importantly, it's going to actually get you in the inbox uh, better. Uh, so it's going to make you land in the inbox a lot quicker and then you're going to be in touch with your audience a lot quicker as well as what I do is, um, so let's just head back into this draft here. So what I do is, um, so unsubscribe. So what I do is I would send a message, which would be my first email that I've promised in my advertising or whatever it may be, what I promised for my lead gen, um, how to get people in, whatever free content that I'm offering. Then what I would do is I would wait five minutes, right? So I just change this to minutes and I just wait five minutes. And then I just put a little message in here. And what I do is um, I use the method that I've already explained in the video below which is how to always land in the uh, inbox. I use that method and I test it. And I just drop a little message five minutes in, just basically saying, quick question. I'm just basically saying something along the lines of, hey, first name, so I'll use me as an example. Hey Ross, just checking in. I just uh, I know you just signed, signed up to my email list. Really great to have you here. I was just making sure that you received the email. Could you please let me know if you received the email or not? Thanks in advance, Ross. Ross something along those lines. Um, so that does two things. It eliminates 
skepticism and it creates en it creates engagement um, it creates engagement so that's two great ways to start engaging with your list so instantly when someone signs up to your list apologies if you could hear the dog by the way that's my um, wife just coming back in we're stuck in lockdown and it's pissing down the snow outside <laughs> but um so yeah it's a great way to create engagement because if someone's just signed up to your list they're full of skepticism they get an email basically saying did you receive the emails so you're doing two things with that you're creating engagement and if your first email did by some chance because gmail and hotmail and yahoo these spam triggers these spam filters do tend to have a mind of their own um if you did land in the promotions folder and you did do your due diligence and use the method that i have shared in my video below then you're going to land in the inbox with this with this email and it's going to create engagement so if they get back to you you can just basically say within that email just make sure to whitelist my email address or just make sh make sure to mark my email address as safe so i don't land in your junk or promotions folder so it is going to increase your open rates it is going to increase your click-through rates it is going to create that engagement because instantly straight off the bat if people are engaged and they know that it's not just a robot at the back of this email they're going to be 100 percent more engaged and more open to what you have to say because they know that it's a real person actually sending these emails out so if you found any value from this video whatsoever make sure to go ahead smash me with a like make sure to go ahead and leave a little comment below it really really helps the algorithm it really really helps the channel out if you've been using aweber for a while uh, or maybe you've just started using it and you're not quite sure how what you're doing or anything like that you've got some questions just hit me with a little comment below i'll make sure to get back to you and answer as best i can because i have been using it for a while or if you are in the market for an email autoresponder and you're wondering which one to go with i'll leave a little description uh, i'll leave a little link in the description below when you can start a free trial with aweber you can use it uh, just do what i've just uh, done there see how you find it and if you did like this video make sure to like comment and share because it really helps up the channel but thanks very much and i will catch you in the next video